e siamo qui con Takazumi Ayashi che è il responsabile del progetto CBR 600 un ritorno, un bellissimo ritorno, non me lo sarei mai aspettato, non ce lo sarei mai aspettato, ma che bella sorpresa. Honda CBR 600 RR. For me it's a problem to, to speak with air. <laughs> I remember the, the first version, 2017, and then what happened? So one of the reasons is that because the market for the, or demand for the super sports models yeah. in general, not just in Europe, but also globally, was a little bit less, so it was sh shrinking back then. Yeah. And now, only only Honda and uh, and uh, Yamaha are in this market. Yamaha uh, launches a model, of course, has a model in this market, but only the so-called race-based model, so not really road legal model. And because we Honda started really introducing the, uh, for example, back in 2020, Fireblade model with uh, lots of really new electronics. And also in this timing, we like decided to launch a 600, a CBR 600 R, also really long, uh, intro, uh, introducing lots of electronics to really fresh up the model and also to really boost, the Im improve the image of the racing of the Honda. At the same time, we like to really offer some products which will help uh, let's say, develop and grow riders. So do you think that uh, there is a market for in Europe, uh, in Europe for this uh, kind of motorbike? And, uh, but it's important, it's important also the motorsport, because I, I know that uh, RC, uh, there is a kit, uh, an AKRC kit for this uh, motorbike. Yeah, that's correct. Problem for uh, Nero 5, uh, uh, engine respect to the 2017 engine, which is the difference? So biggest difference is that because we, the new engine is really compliant with the Euro 5 Plus, but usually if you want to really make it Euro 5, uh, 5, uh, Euro 5 Plus compliant, the power would usually go down. But we make sure that the power is also going up, so improving, because we, as you can see in this really specs, uh, spec sheet, we improve the cylinder head, also the camshaft and the valve, and all, all those things. That helps to boost the power at the same time, make the engine uh, Euro 5 Plus compliant. So, Mr. Ayashi, so I don't remember. <laughs> Mr. Ayashi, thank you very much.